Hello, I'm Scott Wheatley from the Queen Anne's County Department of Emergency Services, and uh, I have the distinct pleasure of being the division chief in charge of the EMS division. Today, I'm going to share with you three exciting new things. First of all, is just a little attaboy to all the crews out there working in this uh, treacherous time of COVID. All of our crews come in and come out each day, putting their life on the line, and I just want to personally thank them for all the hard work they do. I, I speak this all the time, and yes, I am the face a lot of the EMS division, but truly it is the men and women, the professional paramedics and EMTs of the Queen Anne's County Department of Emergency Services, EMS division, that make this happen. And I just want to personally say thank you for all of your hard work. Number two, I'm happy to announce that for the fourth year in a row, Queen Anne's County Department of Emergency Services, EMS division, has been awarded the American Heart Association Mission Lifeline for EMS Gold Plus Award. So what does this mean? Well, I'm very proud of this because this means that our paramedics and our EMTs are recognizing heart attacks very early on when they're patient contacts. They're able to get their 12 lead EKGs not only obtained on the patients, but transmitted to a cardiac STEMI center and that the doctors at the receiving facilities are ready to receive those patients and rapidly take them into the cardiac catheterization center if they qualify for that. The second piece of information I'm gonna share with you today, I'm pretty excited. Queen Anne's County Department of Emergency Services has recently started using the backline for EMS program. Backline allows clinicians to scan their patient's driver's license and within a second, they get returned in live time current medications and histories and sometimes allergies that patients are on and are experiencing. This is critical in assisting us with doing proper patient care and helping piece the clues together sometimes when patients are unconscious or unable to communicate with us. We're very proud to have this program and this was at no cost to the county for the first two years because we qualified for a grant with the state of Maryland. We want to thank all the people at Backline for EMS and Dr. First for all their hard work and dedication in getting this program for us. And finally, I'm excited to tell you that we've got upgrades to our cardiac monitors. Each captain assigned to the DES EMS division has a special project that they work on each day and carries through the department. Kevin's happens to be a more huge project of quality assurance. And through quality assurance, we learn how to better our service by technology and improving our medical responses. And today, I'm gonna to have Kevin talk about the Zol-X edition that's gonna help us with resuscitation and specifically when it comes to bag valve mask ventilation and control with intubated patients. Kevin? Queen Anne's County has been lucky to have uh, the Zol X series monitor in service for the past seven years. We have had the opportunity to upgrade to the X series advanced and we've done that to three of our devices. To back up, the X-Series monitor is our ECG monitor, monitoring blood pressure, pulse, respiratory rate, measuring capnography, and tidal CO2. What we've been able to add to the X-Series advanced monitor is better measuring bag valve mask ventilations, both tidal volume and rate, as well as integrating a dashboard for looking at vital sign parameters, uh, specifically for traumatic brain injury. But those vital sign parameters are actually the same ones we want to look at for sepsis and our advanced uh, RSI procedures. We sent these monitors out to be upgraded, came back with an additional uh, monitoring cable and a sensor. We connect the sensor to the bag valve mask and then we can connect it to the mask of the bag valve mask or to our endotracheal tube for our intubated patient. By giving our ventilations, the sensor turns on. The device here will give us a countdown for how often we should ventilate the patient it will also give us a set of parameters for how much ventilations we should give to the patient or how much volume we should give each patient. What's also very nice is that they're able to integrate a dashboard and we can go right here and it's going to trend our vital signs over the period of several minutes. It's going to give us our respiratory rate, our end tidal CO2, our pulse ox, and our systolic blood pressure. So we can watch our patient change and those vital signs improve over the course of several minutes. We're lucky that we've been able to upgrade some of our devices, uh, but most of our devices are unfortunately a little too old to upgrade. So we'll be seeing additional devices come in as we get through our replacement schedule with our capital budget projects. So in conclusion, thank you for your time and watching this. Queen Anne's County Department of Emergency Services is here to serve the public in any way needed. We take pride and we strive for excellence every day to provide the best emergency medical services using the latest technology and bettering ourselves through training and education. 
And we're going to continue to do that to serve the public every day. Thank you for your time and support.